Oh, speaker ports. Nice. Is that OEM? Yeah. OEM plus AF. Welcome back, and you're watching the Evil X channel on this very exciting episode. We're going to do some arts and crafts, boys and girls. We are going to get some foam padding, and we are going to get some polyester fill. You know, kind of using arts and crafts, and used to make dolls and teddy bears and things like that. We're going to try to fix the sound system in here. So from the factory, this car comes with two 8-inch subwoofers. They're in a box behind the seats. Problem is, that box is just bare metal and empty space and it has no bass, no treble, and no theater. The high end's all right, but the rest of it, like the Harman Kardon system in the WRX will kick the hell out of this JBL system as far as range and bass and all that good stuff. So let's see if we can make this any better. If you like 2020 and up Toyota Super content, Browse through the other videos on my channel and see if any of those interest you and consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up on this video, it really helps the small YouTubers out. Thanks for being here. So first of all, before you even make any modifications to your car, you can adjust the equalizer. To do that, go to my vehicle and then we are going to go to system settings. We are going to look for tone, then equalizer. Actually, before we do that, you're also going to want to uncheck surround. So we already have that unchecked. Let's go into equalizer. So checking some forums and some other places, a lot of people recommended having the equalizer set to a position about like that. So just with the equalizer settings, I did notice quite a bit of improvement. It sounds quite a bit better when you have it set like that. You can modify them a little bit here and there and see what sounds better to you. But get that set first of all. Now let's move on to modifying our own speaker box to see if we can make it sound even better. The person that came up with this method is a user going by the name of Tada. No, really, that's what his username is. On the Super Mark V forum. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to follow along. It's really detailed instructions and props to him. All credit goes to him. And those will be the instructions we'll be going by. There's actually a little more in depth and we'll go over that here shortly. Getting on to the materials. Here's some polyfill. So I am gonna use this for some wadding inside that speaker box, more than enough right here. You can get this at the, your Walmart craft department. And then here's some foam padding. This one looks like it's 1.6 inches thick. And you can get some of this on Amazon, Walmart, craft department might have some of this as well. I am going to open this up. So from the instructions, this is the diagram of how it needs to be cut for the inserts on that foam layers. I'm gonna open this up and start cutting out to these dimensions. Then we will start fitting them in the speaker box. Boom. You can just use some regular old scissors. Those work great. This stuff's pretty pretty cool. It's like memory foam. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. Just get it as close as you can to the dimensions. I'll put a link to the article describing all this. So follow your dimensions and get that cut out. So looking at the trunk, there's the factory two eight inch subwoofers. So we need to get this panel out. So we'll remove the back carpeting and then we can get to that panel. It should just have one pop clip in the middle Then the rest should just pull out. Then we can get to the inside of that speaker box there. We will give ourselves a little more room, disconnect the trunk cover here. So let me get that pulled out along with the lower carpet lining. So I pushed the seats up all the way to get that rear carpet lining board 
and just tucked it up there for now. If you see down here, there's just a single pop clip. We'll pop that out. Then the rest of this trim piece should just pull out and snap out. Very simple. With that trim piece removed, we see we have these holes. We are gonna stuff those with that polyester filling in there as well. Now, I believe in the write-up, he went even more in depth and completely removed the whole metal framing of the box and put foam padding underneath it as well. We're not gonna go that in depth. We're just gonna stuff that padding polyfill wadding into those holes. So I'm gonna stuff as much in those holes to get it into the speaker box as I can. And then we can get to the foam padding that's gonna go on the exterior here. It's getting about completely full. Probably wanna get like a trim piece tool or something unless you have small fingers to help you push it in there. But what I also noticed is you want to push it either direction to fill out on both directions. So remember to fill that way and that way as well, not just straight in. Boop. So just keep stuffing an ass ton of polyester wadding in there until you can't stuff no more until your fingers are bleeding. All right, let's take a look at the foam pieces we cut out. So we got this shape here. So this is gonna have to tuck behind this metal bracket. So tight gap there, but this foam will squish down pretty easily. So that should tuck back there center one so we have the slits going this direction so we should be able to slide that center piece up here filling this void as well same thing on the other side let's get those stuffed in there so trying to stuff this center piece of foam back behind this portion here it's going to be pretty difficult there's also a screw right there coming up. I mean, this will lift a little bit, but it's gonna be pretty hard to stuff that center portion, excuse me, center portion in there. Um, there's four screws right there. I'm just gonna loosen it so I can more easily get the foam behind. That is gonna be a T25 bit. Let me loosen those four, get the center piece of foam in there, and then just put the screws back in. So the tricky parts are going to be dealing with these brackets. So our slits went up to there. So there's a little piece connecting the pieces of foam on each side. So get a trim piece tool or something similar and stuff it in, then stuff it down. There is an opening back behind here. You can get your finger behind there and work it down. So you can see the foam's going all the way to the bottom. Then stuff it in top. It actually looks pretty good, I think. Other side just as well. Then those center openings is where we are going to put the speaker ports. So we'll trim those to length and we'll put some speaker mesh behind it. We'll get some cheap speaker mesh. This stuff is metal. Now this is just going to be covering the portholes that we're going to be creating so that we don't see the white foam as much sticking out through the back there. So we're going to measure out a four inch square, four inches on each side. We'll cut those out. All right, we've got our speaker grills. So these are gonna go behind our speaker ports. We're gonna cut these down so they're only two inches long. And then we will stick them in to the trim piece in the car. That will have to be drilled out as well.
All right, we got those cut down to two inches. I did sand on the bottom a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. They're gonna be back there. Just get the burrs out from the inside. So these will be sitting like that. So you'll have a little speaker mesh behind it so you're not seeing, oops, not seeing quite as much of the white uh, stuffing behind it. Now comes the part where we gotta put the holes in your trim piece. So according to the diagram, we're gonna go nine and a half inches this way, and then an inch and a half that way will be our center point on each side. Then we'll drill those out with a two inch bit. Then we can get those guys in there. I do have my holes lightly marked. So what I'm going to do next, drill a little pilot hole, and then we got this two inch bit that will allow us to have those speaker ports. Keep in mind, on the back you do have these foam pieces. You are gonna blow through those. So that'll probably come out. We might glue it back in if we want to retain that piece or not. But keep that in mind. So let's get those pilot holes in there. Start off slow so the drill doesn't try to take your hand off. Okay, from that experience, let me tell you, on this whole saw, let it do the work. Do not push against it. The first time I did it, I was pushing against it pretty hard and it, it spun really bad. It wanted to take my hand off just about. So just with the weight of the drill, let it sit on there and slowly go through. So I got all most of the debris cleared off. I vacuumed off the carpet. So on this one, I didn't punch through this foam. I think I'm gonna retain it. I think I'm just gonna cut a slit, like a cross slit there. Then I'll sneak my little speaker port in so it'll be coming through this way. So that way I don't have to rip up that material too much. This one was just lightly hooked on. Same thing. I'll just uh, put like a T-cut there Slip this guy in through. So I just did a T-cut there. This piece had completely come off, but you know what? That's gonna hold it on there well enough for me. And looking where these push through, see how they have these bezels right there? They kind of expand. So it's a bit of a push to get those stuck in there, but once they are, they are on there. Like other people had talked about putting zip ties or gluing it. I'll keep an eye on it. If it does move, I'll uh, see what else I need to do. But right now, that thing is in there tight. Then the T-cut on the material there. I think it looks good. It does look pretty clean. We're running out of daylight, but we'll put the speaker mesh back in those openings there, that four by four opening. Then our speaker ports are gonna go over that and we're about done. So we got the speaker mesh put in there. So I just kind of push it in until it started to bend on the bottom and conform to that little bend right there. Now it's not stuck in with anything, but I think the speaker port's gonna be sitting up against it. We'll keep an eye on it, see if it moves. Hopefully it doesn't. That's looking pretty good. We'll get our trim piece back in. Put your trim piece back in with your new speaker ports. Looks pretty good. You can see a little bit of the polyester through there, but with the speaker mesh, it's not too bad. I think it looks really good. You're probably gonna get a little bit of the polyester threads throughout there. Just pick them off so it's nice and clean. Looking good. We got the speaker box all put together. Let's listen to some of my favorite YouTube royalty free music and see how it sounds. <laughs> I do think it does sound quite a bit better. It gives it a little more depth and a little more bass to that. 
and a little more of a premium sound that you were looking for to begin with. It was a fun project too. I had a lot of fun doing this project. All in, you're gonna be like 50 or 60 bucks putting this setup together. And I think it's worth it. You should try it out if you're looking for a little bit more premium sound on your Supra. It's not gonna alter the fabric of the space-time continuum, but it was fun and it does sound that much nicer. Thanks for watching my video. Go ahead and browse through the other videos on my channel and if any of those interest you, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this video. It really helps the small YouTubers out. And until next time, I'm 